For this video, I will be going through the lab at the end of the YAML Essentials course with a Cloud Guru. This is the Linux Academy website because I'm a legacy customer, but Linux Academy was acquired by Cloud Guru, so in the future you'll find the course that I took, which is the YAML Essentials course right here. And as with all the Cloud Guru courses, at the end there is a hands-on lab. I've already done it, but I'm going to be doing it again. And in this lab, task is to write a playbook to deploy MariahDB on a VPS that they will spin up for you. So for most of the lab, I'll just be following their instructions. Using Visual Studio Code here as my code editor. But I will occasionally reference my notes from the course if I need to remember the exact name of a particular data structure. And I will slow the video back down and comment on anything that's worth commenting on. Okay, let me first log into the SSH server. Actually, do that in VS Code. Log into the SSH server that they've spun up for me as part of this lab. I have an SSH uh, alias for this. There we go. I am now logged in the server. And since we're going to be configuring Ansible from the server itself, we'll need to copy the SSH key into the local host. That needs to be done as the Ansible user. And there we go. Now we need a playbook called MariahDB, which I will make locally and then copy up. Okay, so I've given the sequence of mappings that they listed here to configure the local host. And that's a really odd um, name for things, but sequence of mappings is in fact, uh, doesn't refer to everything being a sequence item. In my notes, I wrote out that the reason why it is this way is you can simplify. See, this is a sequence of mappings right here as well. And so you've got multiple mappings in each sequence item. So a sequence of mappings doesn't mean that every single mapping is a sequence item. It means that the top level data structure at the level of analysis we're working with is a sequence of mappings, but each one can contain multiple mappings. And so typically, and as is the case here, we've got one sequence item that has all of these mappings. And then within this, in this same collection of data here, and I believe I have something on collections as well, yeah, right here. The collection is any sort of logical, you could say any sort of top level heading. But this is a collection inside this collection here. And you can see these notes are from my, free, my previous attempt at the lab. Doing these labs is a really helpful way of making sure you understand how to do things properly. Okay, looks like I missed a portion. I went name and yum, but I didn't add notify, which is mapped to a list with only one item. In this case, it's start service. Then they want handler's sequence of mappings for the following key pairs, meaning that the key pairs themselves are the sequence of mappings, not handlers. These vertical lines here in VS Code are really helpful in lining up your YAML. Let's go over and see if I've got all this stuff. Okay, there's one issue here. We have name, yum, and notify. Are the are the um, mappings in this sequence of mappings? Meaning that notify needs to be under you know, level with name. 
not part of yum. And state is inside the service key, meaning that it needs to be in here, as does name. Okay, I believe that's everything. Now, push it up to the server. Okay, let's get a local shell. And the directory I'm working in is... Okay, so then I want to scp or idb.yaml to cloud user at that. We got to issue a colon on the ends. There we go. We push that file over. I just stopped to remove that IP from my known hosts because I don't want it cluttering that up. So now you can actually just pop over here. Now we're as a cloud user with MariahDB. So the Ansible user. And then we just run the playbook, right? Yep. That is right. We're gonna have to copy this. The Ansible user's home directory. Right there. Okay, now we are as the Ansible user in the home folder of the Ansible user with the playbook that we need to run. And this looks promising. We're running it against the local host. Installing MariahDB. Is there anything else that it did? It just installed it and restarts it. Let me see if I can figure out what's going on here. Okay, it looks like I just entered the wrong value into this key. Handlers needs to also be start service, not MariahDB. Push the playbook up again. Do that same dance we did before to get it over to the right location and there are more efficient ways to do this but for now this is all i need so this should be fine well, let's see if the yaml has been fixed properly and yep it has been so we have successfully written a playbook to install and start MariahDB on the server using yaml as the capstone to the YAML Essentials class offered by a Cloud Guru.